Okay, so let's find a general solution of y double prime plus 5y prime plus 6y equals 20 cosine x. So now we have a sinusoidal forcing. So let's see what happens in this problem. Okay, so first, let's go ahead and find the homogeneous part. So I could easily write the characteristic equation. I get m squared plus 5m plus 6 is equal to 0. So that's going to be the homogeneous case. And by inspection, I mean, we could really factor this without the quadratic formula. So if I factor this, I'll get m plus 3 times m plus 2 is equal to 0. And whether I multiply two numbers or two binomials, uh, if the product is 0, it says that the m plus 3 must be 0 and or the m plus 2 must equal to 0, in which case I'll have an m1, say, equal to negative 3, and an m2 equal to negative 2. And so since I have two real roots, this brings up case 1, which has a solution y of x equals c1e to the m1x plus c2e to the m2. X. Now if I fill in M1 and M2, I get C1e to the minus 3x plus C2e to the minus 2x. Okay, so now we have our, let's say, homogeneous solution. I'll put a little h. I don't know why to recognize that. <clears throat> and in part two, let's go ahead and find the particular solution, yp of x. So again, I'll use undetermined coefficients, but here I'm going to assume that my yp of x is going to be a cosine of x plus b sine of x. So I add the plus b sine of x because when I take these derivatives, you'll see the cosine will change to sine and then back to the cosine. So I'll bring up, uh, I'll introduce sines and then uh, when I compare, uh, I just want to make sure that I have sines and cosines. Uh, accounted for. So I'll take the first derivative and I get a negative a sine of x plus b cosine of x. For the second derivative I'll get a negative a cosine of x minus b sine of x. Let's just partition this off. All right, so let's go ahead and plug this back into the governing ODE. And I get y double prime plus 5y prime plus 6y equals 20 cosine x. So let's see the y double prime. I'll get a minus a cosine x minus b sine x for the y double prime plus 5y prime. So plus 5 and my y prime my yp prime, if I go down here, becomes minus a sine x plus b cosine x. Okay, then I have a plus 6y. I'm just going to come down here and say plus 6 times my yp is a cosine x plus b sine x. It's just my original assumption for my particular solution. And that's going to equal to 20 times the cosine of x. And you really could think of this as plus 0 sine x. Okay. For now, let's go ahead and factor out all of our cosine x factors on the left-hand side. So as I go across the left-hand side, I'll get a minus a from this first term. Um, I see another cosine x, but if I distribute it into 5, I'll get a plus 5b. And here I see another cosine term, but I have to distribute it into 6 to get a plus 6a. Let's do the same with the sine. So I'll get a negative b minus 5a. And in here I get a plus 6b. Okay, and all of that must equal to 20 cosine of x. 
So if I equate coefficients, uh, well first, I'll notice that this, 6a minus a, can be reduced to 5a plus 5b, and this can be reduced to 5b minus 5a. So again, the coefficient on the cosine would be the 5a plus 5b, and the 5a plus 5b must be equivalent to the coefficient on the right-hand side, which is 20. If I do something similar with the sine, um, I see the coefficient 5b minus 5a on the left-hand side must be equal to the coefficient of the sine on the right-hand side. So we can think of it as a zero sine x, so the coefficient should be zero, since I don't see a sine x on the right-hand side. Now we have a two-by-two two system of equations, which the second equation is easily solved. I'll find that b is equal to a. If I transpose the 5a, I get 5b equals 5a, and divide by 5, I get b is equal to a. So then I come to the first equation, and I could really divide the entire equation through by 5. I'll get a plus b is equal to 4. And since a and b are equal to each other, I find that a, which equals b, should equal to 2. And now I can write my particular solution, y p of x, I go back here, is equal to a cosine x equals 2 cosine x plus 2 sine x. Okay? So now I have my homogeneous part and my particular part. Now it's just a matter of writing out my solution for y of x which is going to be the sum of the homogeneous and the particular parts. So I'll get y of x equals, for the homogeneous, I had c1e minus 3x plus c2e to the minus 2x plus the particular part, which is 2. If I factor it out, I guess I can write it as cosine of x plus sine of x. And that's the general solution to this problem.